Welcome back to the final part of the show where we're about to be treated to a midweek feast with David Gillick. Now, David, you have a Greek classic for us. I do, a moussaka. Um, again, it's one of these dishes where they're easy to make, a bit of kind of different parts to it, but it's a great one pot dish. Okay, so yeah. I'm kind of doing a few different things on it. Instead of a white sauce, I'm going to actually make it with Greek yogurt. So we're going full tilt. Greek style on this, all right? Okay. Okay. Um, and also you can use it for, say, lamb, any kind of ground meat that you want to put in with it. Tonight we're going for a lean uh, mince, okay? okay? So that's beef, obviously. So um, obviously kind of starting off with my good friend, the aubergine here. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you, you, you thinly slice this, okay? Because this is your base. So think of like, you know, the pasta in a lasagna, all right? Yes. We're replacing that with the aubergines. Yeah. Okay, so again, what you want to do here with this is thinly slice it. And just to kind of give you an idea, so you want big slices, nice and thin, as you can see. Okay. I'm going to just put them on a kind of a, a roasting dish, right? And the reason is I want to grill them. So I want them to kind of crisp up a little bit, you know, because it adds a lot of flavor to it, a lot of textures, and they're just really, really nice. So really easily. And what, you know, if you're buying aubergine, I, I know people are, lots more people are getting, what should you look for? Like, you know, the way you do the squeeze for an awful lot of things. Yeah, exactly. Like, you could have a squeeze, you know. Um, and I, to be honest, I was in Lidl, and that's where I got these, all right? And they're, they, they're, they're great because they're fresh. So all you want to do is just give it a squeeze. And if it's any way soft, it's not as ripe. So you okay. want a bit of, they're kind of spongy, all right? But you want to make sure that it's not over spongy. Gotcha. Okay, okay. so, okay. and all, use your eyes as well. So if it's any way kind of wrinkled and stuff like that, maybe... In other you know, words, David's telling me, use your cop on. Just use, use your just cop on. Just use your That's cop it, yeah. So a little bit of salt, all right? And I'm just going to pop them under the grill, okay? So you want to give them, just for a kind of... It could take about 10 minutes. Okay. So on a high grill, right, but you've got to keep your eye on them. Why? Because they'll burn. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're, you're kind of looking after them. Over here, I have my hot pan, okay? Very hot. Some onions go straight in. Okay, so what we're doing here is going to make our tomato kind of sauce yeah. and a tomato kind of base for it all, all right? So very, very simply, I've got some onions in there. We'll give them a couple of minutes on that. I'm going to add in a little bit of garlic. Give that a little squeeze in there. So you're almost making very, very easily like a spaghetti bolognese in a way, okay? So that's your, your mince is gonna come into this as well. Now I've already browned off the mince just to save on a bit of time. Yeah. Because I know you guys like to keep a tight schedule here. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so a little bit of a mix on that. <gasps> He's so kind. That's the politically correct way of well, saying Well, it's rushed. just been one of those yeah. nights, haven't yeah. they? You're talking about Olympic. See, the, the, the memories start coming back, and I just panicked. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is she going to say? As soon as we start talking about partying in the Olympic Village. Well, he whatever you did, you shot Darla. I Darla did. Them. I had to unplug her. Didn't know what she was going to say. So I'm going to add in a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah. OK, so you want about a teaspoon of that in there, if it wants to come out. OK. OK. So um, you can put in fresh herbs if you want. I'd probably add in the fresh herbs a little bit later on. But if you're going for dried, put them in now. Yep. OK, so the cinnamon, you can smell that. Give it a little bit of a mix. What else went in? Parsley, was it? No? Mixed herbs. Mixed herbs. So everything from parsley, sage, oregano, all that stuff, straight in. OK, good mix. Um, now I'm going to chop in some peppers. So my cooking at home is very much what's available get it straight into the pan. Yeah. Very, very simply, very easily. So I kind of find with things like this, for families, you can hide veg in there as well. So if you have any young kids at home who might not like kind of veg, you can hide it in things like this very easily. So peppers, straight in. Now, give it a little bit of a mix. I'm gonna add in my browned beef. Mm -hmm. So again, lean mince. You can use other ones, but we're focusing on the beef. Yeah, beef moussaka, lamb moussaka, whatever you're, you're going to do yeah. with that. Lamb moussaka, yeah. And if it was in a lamb moussaka, I'd add in kind of like maybe a bit of mint in there as well. You know, it goes really well with it. Yeah. So you're giving that a mix. Now, the tomato sauce. So you can, use, like, you can use a passata if you wanted to, or if you don't have a passata, tin of chopped tomatoes, a little bit of tomato puree just to thicken it up a bit. Yeah. Okay, so. Lovely. Give that a little bit of a mix. Now, what you would ideally do is 
You bring that to a bit of a boil and just let it simmer away, okay? It smells, it smells so good. So well, see, good. the thing about that is the longer you leave it, the more flavor comes into it. Yeah. So ideally, yeah. you know, an hour if you had it and just let it bubble away. Simmer on a low heat for an hour. Low heat, yeah. Do your thing. Absolutely, okay. So I'm gonna pop that to a side. All right, for ease, here's one I made earlier. Yep. Just because it's time-based, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, you have your aubergines in there. So I've made a few earlier on, and I'm gonna to begin to kind of play it up a little bit. So all you wanna do is get those, and you can see the color on those, Yeah. all right? And you just wanna lay them down at the bottom. So again, think of like a lasagna where you're layering it up. And because they're so liquid, I know you, you thinly slice them, but that will sort of evaporate off. Or, it will, yeah. yeah. And like, to be honest with you, if it came straight from the grill, they'd be nice and crisp. Oh yeah. All right, so when you are grilling them, make sure you keep an eye on them and you turn them over. All right, so again, they'll just caramelize and a bit of seasoning on them as well. You know, just brings all that flavor out. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, to the one I made earlier, so a great thing as well to add in, you can add in like lentils and stuff like that. If you don't have lentils, a great way of bulking it up a little bit is put in some beans. So kidney beans, chickpeas, butter beans, really good fiber. You know, again, you're looking at the kind of, the quality of the food that's going into that. So you can Your see- lad, Your kids have no clue what they're eating, do they? No, they don't. Not a clue, all the throw veg it in, in the there, Throw it in there, throw it in. So what you want to do is just bring that to a nice kind of temperature and all you're going to do is then pour it straight in. Okay. okay. So that's the base. Now you can layer it up if you want. I'm a bit simple, me. I just throw it all in and but then like just... you said, you can layer it up like a lasagna. Of course you can, yeah. And the great thing about it is it's a little bit lighter than a lasagna. So, you know, for anyone that might be looking at kind of carbs and all the rest of it, it's an alternative here. Okay. okay, so now my white sauce. I did say I was gonna do things a little bit different. So the traditionalists are probably gonna fall off the chairs at home, but I'm using a Greek okay. yogurt. We've got about a minute left. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> this is your white sauce. This is my white sauce. Okay, so Greek yogurt. Yeah. Get the eggs in there. So three eggs. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk this together. Mm -hmm. with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Okay. okay. So that's straight in. Okay. So really quickly. Yeah, he knows when we said a minute ago, a second ago, you knew yeah. that this was gonna happen. We it's got all good, it's all Olympics good. Just got a few seconds. On, Olympics, come on, come on, Gillick, come on. Come on, Gillick. He talks to himself, lads. He talks to himself in training. So you're whisking that. So what that does is, it's great for baking Greek over. So you'll get the height, you'll get the fluffiness. Yeah. That will go on top of it, okay? Yeah. And this is your white sauce. So what you want to do is, before we do that, we're going to come back to our aubergines, oh, and we're going to layer them on top. And then you place that on top. And you then do. Does it go back into... It goes back in for about 160 for about 30 minutes. Love. Okay. And very, very easily. Look, there we go. And do you have something to show us? I do, I do, I do, I do. I know. I'm so sorry. You knew this was going to happen. It's grand. It's all right. Okay. It's all right. We're almost there. We'll blame Durville. We'll blame blame Durville. Durville. She's yeah. here now, she'll be unplugging she's now, me. She's now got her back on you. So what you're actually left with is this. Okay. So that is, where's my spoon Absolutely. gone? Absolutely. Just put it up on the chopping board and we can get a better look at it. Yeah, watch your fingers. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Lovely. Um, okay, so there you go. So it's nice and fluffy. Oh, look at that. Well, that looks and like again, this. To give you a show of the little layers in there. Uh, You've got it all, doesn't want to come out. <laughs> there we go. That looks gorgeous. So very straightforward, very easy, very easy, loads of flavor in there and a great one pot kind of dish. So and again- you just went and you got all your stuff, you're good to go. Get all your stuff, I got all these in little, great range, put it all together, boom, there you go. Delicious.